Ranvi, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Before that time, it would be best to keep all discussions about... about us... to yourself. Of course. Now is not the time. I have no guilt, no regret for what we have done. But we should be careful. Agreed. Thank you. And know that, however far away, you are always in my thoughts. I know. I feel the same. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Where is Sigurd gone? Have a look, Sunan. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past, it is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. 
I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. The wind calls me back to Rande. Best tell her the good news. Good day, my love. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution.
Villalaus, now you die. My... My sword is lost. Floating down a creek. I shall follow. Till I dance again. Or drown.
by the campfire, skate on the ice, by a lean horse and a tempered sword. Do these things and be pleased with your lot. So, you've lured me in. Explain yourself. It's just been a while since anyone passed this way, and I wanted to be sure you would stay and visit. By pretending to be a pretty young maid. My mother used to tell me stories. Legends of a forgotten king. Of magic swords rising from misty lake waters. There was often a fair maiden, lonely and locked away. I fell in love with that sweet fantasy. So much more romantic than a pathetic man, whiling away the hours until death. A sad shadow play. So, where is your mother now? Dead. These last three years and buried under the flowers she loved. I wanted to move on, but I cannot bear to leave her. Many lose loved ones, and they do not bind themselves with grief shackles. Your mother is at peace. And what of my peace? My life here is pallid and dank as a grave shroud. Your life is your own to live. You're right. But now I beg you, leave me to my sorrow. I hope you find what you're looking for. Farewell.
Yeah! 